Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bits here, and in today's math lesson, since it is close to Easter time, we are going to be using our Easter eggs, and today's Easter eggs are going to help teach us about fractions. So I know that we have learned a lot about fractions so far, so first let's do a little review right here I have a group of eggs this group is my whole there are four eggs in this group so each egg is a fourth there is one fourth of the eggs are pink one fourth of the eggs are blue one fourth of the eggs are green and one fourth of the eggs are yellow so all one-fourth. Now if I wanted to look at this in a little bit of a different way, I notice that two of my eggs have the same pattern even though they're different colors. So again I have four eggs all together. That four is the bottom on the number, that is my denominator, that four shows my whole. How many out of my whole have this zigzag pattern? Two out of that four have the zigzag pattern. How many out of my whole have polka dots? There you go. One out of four or one fourth has polka dots. So what if I brought in two more eggs? So now I have two, four, six eggs here in my little Easter basket. So the fraction that I'm working with now are six. Six is my denominator. So I say S I X and then I add that th on the end, T H, sixth. So these are sixths. So let's see how many sixths are striped like those. Two six of these eggs are striped. Two six of these eggs have this zigzag pattern and two six of these eggs have polka dots. If I added that together, two six plus two six plus two six two, four, six, that's six, six, or one whole group of eggs here. So I'm still working with my one whole group of eggs. So we're still going to look at our six. So I'm going to have my six as my denominator. Now let's think about colors. What fraction of this group of eggs is pink? Well, I see one, two, three that are pink, so three sixths of my eggs are pink. Now I'm going to see if I can trick you. What fraction of eggs are not yellow? Not yellow. So how many is yellow? One. So what fraction is not yellow? I have one, two, three, four, five out of six. Five sixths of these eggs are not yellow. What fraction of these eggs are not yellow or green? So I have yellow or green. So which ones are not yellow or green? One, two, three, four. Four sixths of these are not yellow or green. Excellent. Now let's go to three eggs. One, two, three. So my group is three. So now I am working with thirds. Three. Thirds. So one third is green, one third is yellow, 
one third is blue. When I'm adding fractions together, I only add the numerator, the number on top. Remember, the number on the bottom is denominator. Denominator starts with D and down starts with D. So the number that goes down is the denominator. That shows the whole. So how many equal parts in the whole? So I have one third blue, one third yellow, and one third green. What is my fraction of eggs in this group that is not yellow? That's not yellow, and that's not yellow. And how many were that? There was two out of three that were not yellow, so two-thirds is not yellow. All right, boys and girls, so that was our little review on fractions, parts of a whole. Remember to draw yourself pictures when you're working with fractions. If you want to draw yourself little bar models, do that. Half. Now I'm working with fourths. If you want to draw yourself pie charts, halves. Now you're working with fourths. Do that. A fraction is part of a whole, an equal part of a whole. I hope this helped you understand. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. In our next lesson, we are going to be working with equivalent fractions. That was easy.